All right, so this is our little Mustang Lando who scratched himself about, this will be the 10th of day of antibiotics. So this was a huge gouge. I mean, I could stick this entire tip of the syringe, that's how deep it was. And it went down and in. And it looked like an obvious scratch from a nail. This little guy has a lot of allergies here in Florida. He um, gets hosed almost daily and bathed, fungal bathed, many times a week. And I put him on antihistamines like my young horse Blue in the summer because he's just, just miserable with his allergies. So the antihistamines seem to help. So here's proof. Here's, I did not call the vet for this. Um, I have SMZs antibiotics um, on hand at all times. So he's been on 10 once a day, not twice. <clears throat> and that's based upon his level of emotional agility, which is really good and strong, meaning he's not a high stress horse. So I like to allow their bodies to heal themselves as much as possible without giving them a lot of drugs. Whereas if my young horse Blue had done this, I would have put him on an antibiotic twice a day because he's just not as emotionally agile. So this is trace mineral salts in warm water. And I chose the syringe in the beginning because uh, I could get in deep with the point. So you guys can see that he's at liberty. And yes, he is eating. Um, but he, this is just the, the way that it should be, you guys. It should. You know, let him tell me when he's had too much. Good boy. And he knows what it is. I mean, he smelled it. <laughs> you can't eat that. You can eat it. It's good for you. So this burns, as you guys can imagine. Hi, sweet girl. And um, sterilizes. And, it, and what you don't want to do is cover something like this, which is impossible because it needs to heal from the inside out. And it was really stinky and infected in the beginning and the trace minerals was gonna s totally sterilize it and almost cauterize it at the same time. So it's been oozing like crazy, as you guys can see, all the, the hard, hard um, mass around here. Some of that's ichthamol and some of it's just him oozing and healing. So you really wanna let the body do what it naturally, just give it a little bit of help. Um, I would not put anything else on this right now. So let me go ahead and there we go. I'm just gonna, whoop, some of it. Kind of put it right in there, good. All right, oh, ho, ho, ho. what's going on? What's going on, Boo Boo? You're such a good boy. I mean, the beauty of working with an untainted horse, like a wild horse, is they're just beyond smart, intelligent, they know what you're doing, they will work with you if you do it correctly. So let me go ahead, I have got my glove on because I'm gonna do the drawing salve. And the drawing salve in the beginning was really important. And this is ichthamol because it pulled out the poison, the infection, um, and you put this on second, last, and then it also keeps the bugs out. So it is just amazing. We can use it. We can use it on any animal. Um, smells like tar, looks like tar. That's, it's just amazing. So every horse should act like this, you guys. We are the ones that ruin this experience for them um, and make it bad by manhandling them and not giving them an opportunity to tell us how they feel about it, meaning if he needs to walk away, then that tells me he's on shore or it hurts. And you need, it's like working with your kid. You know, you need to work with them. It's not a dictatorship. So there we go. Isn't that amazing? The little beautiful booba. Should be that easy.